This is where psychedelics like psilocybin, the active compound in magic mushrooms, or LSD come in. These substances primarily work on the brain's serotonin system, specifically targeting a receptor called the 5-HT2A receptor. This sets off a cascade of changes in the brain, and one of the most important is what it does to the default mode network. Neuroimaging studies consistently show that under the influence of psychedelics, the activity and organization within the DMN dramatically decrease. Imagine the DMN as a company's CEO, always managing and reinforcing the corporate identity. Psychedelics essentially send that CEO on an unexpected long vacation. The rigid top-down control it normally has over the rest of the brain loosens up. The usual patterns of self-centered thinking are completely disrupted. This drop in DMN activity is strongly linked to the subjective experience of what's known as ego dissolution or ego death. The less activity in this network, the more people report their sense of self fading away. But the DMN doesn't just go silent. As its internal chatter fades, something else amazing happens. The rest of the brain starts communicating in new and unusual ways. Brain regions that don't normally talk to each other suddenly form new connections, leading to a huge increase in global brain connectivity. The brain enters a hyper-connected, fluid state of thinking. This neurological shakeup is the catalyst that launches consciousness into a whole new dimension. 